This year's Harvey H. Jordan Award goes to Justin D. Galbraith. Justin. College of Engineering has had many successful students who've started their education here and completed their degrees, started their education elsewhere and completed their degrees here, and Justin is a, a great example of that. As a student uh, in the dual degree program with Greenville College in Greenville, Illinois, Justin earned a uh, physics degree, and here he's majoring in mechanical engineering. Uh, while pursuing his physics degree at Greenville, he served as a teaching uh, assistant for the Department of Physics, led astronomy laboratory sessions, and operated the campus observatory. He also designed and built an observatory-grade telescope used for teaching there. He was a Greenville College scholar and a recipient of the Guy Richard Collins Mechanical Engineering Scholarship here at Illinois. He's particularly interested in optics and, an update from your program, has accepted a position at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory at their National Ignition Facility, where he will be allowed to play with the world's most powerful laser. <laughs> Your tax dollars at work, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Justin is a member of the Astronomical Society, frequently participates in campus observing sessions. Following Hurricane Katrina, he traveled with a group of peers to Mobile, Alabama to mentor poverty-stricken children as part of the overall relief effort. This summer, he'll be traveling throughout the Czech Republic and Germany as a drummer in a church praise choir. He's joined today by his parents, William and Nanette Galbraith, his grandmother, Merdell Harvey, his aunt, Barbara Yates, and his girlfriend, Leah Schultz. Would you please just wave to the crowd there? The hard Thank you very much. Thank you. So it's our custom for the Harvey Jordan winner to pr make a short presentation, and we'll now hear that from Justin. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you, Dean Tucker. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, University of Illinois, uh, particularly the College of Engineering, uh, some very many uh, outstanding professors and mentors that I've had here, and also my family for making the, uh, the drive up here. Nearly 450 years ago, a man was born who would later be named the father of modern science. He was the eldest of six children and the son of a famous Italian musician. After receiving a formal education in mathematics, he went on to revolutionize the fields of both physics and astronomy. This man's name was Galileo Galilei. Galileo's scientific insight and contributions have proven to be so influential that he is mentioned within the same breath as Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. But it is the context in which Galileo developed his theories and came about his discoveries, as well as his subsequent actions upon the spreading of his views that I find truly remarkable and believe can be used as a guideline for those of us considering our lives while in college and following graduation. One of Galileo's most lauded achievements was the development of what is now considered the modern telescope. By improving upon what was, at that time, the recently discovered refracting telescope design, Galileo handcrafted a device capable of revealing the secrets of the heavens to a degree no one at that time had yet considered possible. Armed with just his telescope, he discovered the moons orbiting Jupiter, the phases of Venus, craters and mountains on the moon, sunspots, the rings of Saturn, and the very nature of the Milky Way. With these discoveries, Galileo began his public support of a heliocentric view of the solar system, a view in which the planets, including our own Earth, orbit the sun. This heliocentric view flew in the face of the conventional thought of the day, which taught that all heavenly bodies should orbit about the Earth itself, known as a geocentric view. Despite receiving heavy amounts of opposition, Galileo stood by his discoveries and eventually found himself subject to house arrest, persecuted for his beliefs. 
he died a prisoner in his own home. As young engineers, we can learn many lessons from the life of this great scientist. Just as Galileo received a state-of-the-art education in his day, we too have been privileged to attend one of the greatest engineering institutions in the nation, if not the world. Armed with the knowledge we have received from countless outstanding professors and mentors, we have a responsibility to serve the rest of the world to the best of our ability, utilizing the many skill sets we have obtained. Just as Galileo stood against those opposing his support of a heliocentric solar system, we should be confident in our training and natural talents and use them to further mankind through technological and scientific innovation. Just as Galileo fathered modern science armed only with his telescope, we too will spread throughout this world armed only with our education, ingenuity, and will to succeed. I believe we are capable of achieving greatness and substantially impacting our world for the better. Although we may never redefine the trajectory of the Earth, as Galileo did, we do have the power to redirect the path of mankind and of ourselves. May time show that we meet this challenge and go down in history as a shining light in the story of humanity. Thank you.